Elijah was a prophet from the town of Tishbe in Gilead. One day, God told Elijah to go to Samaria with a message for wicked King Ahab who ruled the land. So, Elijah set off for the king's palace. King Ahab and Queen Jezebel had encouraged people to stop worshipping God and worship false idols instead. They had tried to kill all God's prophets and brought in false prophets to replace them. The king felt he was in control of everything and he was very proud. Ah! Suddenly, Elijah appeared in front of him. I serve the Lord, the God of Israel. He announced, As surely as the Lord lives, I tell you the truth. No rain or dew will fall during the next few years unless I command it. The king gasped. Who could stop the rain and dew? Surely his new false gods control the weather. After all, wasn't his god Baal the one who controlled rain and harvest? Having delivered God's message, Elijah rushed away. Leave this place, God told him. Go east and hide near the Kerith Ravine. It is east of the Jordan River. You may drink from the brook, and I have commanded ravens to bring you food. Now ravens are very selfish birds. Would God use them to feed Elijah as he hid in the ravine? Elijah did what the Lord told him to do. Just as God promised, ravens brought Elijah bread and meat every morning. The ravens returned with bread and meat in the evening. Elijah drank water from the brook. He gazed 
weeks and months passed without any chew or frain. After a while, the brook dried up. The king and his people asked their false gods to send rain, but no rain fell. People were getting thirsty and cattle were dying. What would Elijah do? Now he had no more fresh water to drink. God had a new plan to keep his prophet safe. Go out of the country to Sarifat in Sidon. God told Elijah, I have commanded a widow there to take care of you. So, Elijah made his way out of the ravine and headed north out of Israel into the land of Sidon. He knew God would provide food and drink. Hey kids, let me ask you something. Did your mom and dad teach you to disobey them? Did your mom and dad teach you to lie? Did your mom and dad teach you to fight with your siblings? Did your mom and dad teach you to do bad things? Why do you think you are doing these things? That's right, because you are born natural sinner. All human beings are born sinners. And the Bible tells us no one is good in the eyes of God. We deserve death in hell for the bad we do. But God showed His great love for us by sending Jesus Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Jesus Christ died to pay for our sins, meaning all the bad things we did can now be forgiven by Jesus. When Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, it proved that He is a powerful God who can forgive sins. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the only way to God. Jesus is the only one who can forgive your sins. Do you want your sins to be forgiven? Come to Jesus! Now is the time, kids! To all who believe Jesus and accepted Him, he gave the right to become children of God. You can say the simple prayer. Dear Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I believe in you and receive you into my life. Please save me. Amen. You know what, kids? Jesus sees your heart. If you sincerely pray the simple prayer from your heart, then you are now God's child. It's His promise. How wonderful it is to be a part of the family of God.
faith is the essence of things unseen, the substance of things hoped for. God's word is said it and I believe it, for a miracle has happened to me. God said it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me. God said it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me. Though some may doubt that His word is true, I've chosen to believe it. Now how about you? God said it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me. God is the author and He's the ending of all that I believe in. Life more abundant is yours for the asking, for a miracle can happen to you. God said it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me. God said it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me. Though some may doubt that His Word is true, I've chosen to believe it. Now how about you? God said it, and I believe it, and that settles it for me.